Hey y'all, I'm David and welcome to the shop. It has been a minute since we were last together. And in that interval, a lot has happened in the world. Something like 97% of all Americans are living under some sort of stay at home order. Now that includes Dallas, our hometown. I cope with all of this stuff by working on projects. Not just here in the shop, I am cooking up a storm in the house, eating all of that wild game that I enjoy, and then also uh, out here doing all kinds of projects, welding up trailing arms for a friend of mine, uh, engine mounts for the charger. I just got done making the design and sketching out the trans mount for the car. Uh, and then one of the things that I'm doing in this minute break while that design is off at the laser shop is I'm getting organized in a new tool chest I bought. Uh, for all of my metal shaping and fabrication clamps and tools and things like that. There's just a bunch of junk that I have been collecting here over this period of time. And I've just kind of been storing ad hoc as I go. And I need to get a, needed to get a better solution for it. And so what I got was a specific Craftsman tool chest. Stuck my bandsaw on top of it. That was the plan. If you've ever bought a tool chest, you know that there's always the opportunity to get the drawer liners with it. And that's all fine and good. If you can spring for that, then do it. But golly, they're expensive. Like for what they are, they're just cut foam. And in some ways, I'm, I kind of want to spend all that money on speed parts for the car or other and greater tools. Now you might be wondering, what makes the best tool drawer liner? I'll tell you, yoga mats. Yoga mats make awesome tool drawer liners. So um, if, you, if you have a, a spouse that is, is big into yoga, it's very simple. You don't have to buy anything. You just go and take their yoga mat, measure, cut, and, and install and then get read large sections of the riot act. Me, I bought a yoga mat. Yoga mat. This is a, oh, about a quarter inch, maybe 3 16 inch thick yoga mat off of Amazon. I put the link in my description. You can find it on my Amazon store. Uh, this thing is perfect. It's about a little bit thicker than what you would get from any one of the brand labels and it costs a whole lot less. I think this whole roll was like 11 or $12. And I need to cut something that is 22 and 1 8 by 16 and 3 8 Yes, I take notes because I forget stuff all the time. So I'm making 21 and 1 8 the, the length across and then 16 and 3 8 the depth. And I'm not going right up to the edge of the drawer. I'm leaving just a little bit of wiggle room, not too much. So I know my fence over here is nice and perfectly straight. I got this butted up to it. By butting this up, I know that this, that it is square. So therefore I can draw what is a perfectly square line and then excluding the holes that are going to be under here, I can actually just go ahead and score it. Don't use your good knife on this, just use a throwaway razor blade. You can hear it crying, I think. There we go. So there's uh, 16 and 3 eighths deep. There you go. I have no idea how long that actually took, but it was like, what, a minute or two? Drawer liner. Let's go install it. There we go. Now, I did order red because, well, I'm kind of a craftsman guy. Now your tools go inside without fear of tearing them up, scratching them up, otherwise ruin them. And that's about it. Just repeat for the other doors, making sure to keep everything square and straight.
that's about it. Uh, we're, we're all done. I, that, I've got maybe an hour invested in this, not a lot of dollars. But more importantly, I'm glad you were here. And uh, if you like seeing more projects like this, you know, be sure to subscribe. I, I do want to ask a favor for those of you already a part of the channel, share with a friend. Tell them about what's going on here. Algorithms and search engine stuff, all that, all the computer machine stuff, that's fantastic. Uh, but really, I'm much more interested in you folks spreading the word about what we're doing here. In the meantime, until we see each other again, uh, I'm going to support one of my friends who's got a brewery opening. Remember Carl from a couple episodes ago? They're continuing to brew beer and can it and try and adapt through this period of time. And I want to be sure that I can support them so that they're around when all this is over. So be sure you find whatever business that you want to have around. If you've got the ability to support them right now, don't forget to do that. So until next time, now more than ever, y'all take good care. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Cool.